Hi guys, Candy Toy Box here. Today you will need some glow-in-the-dark perler beads. And if you don't have any perler beads, you can use pony beads. It will just be a bigger size. And I have three black over here and the rest are just glow-in-the-dark. I have a foot of string, scissors, and the needle is optional. And to start this, this will be the pattern. So if you want to stop the video and lay out your beads, you can. If not, you can just work along with me. So we're going to start with folding our string in half. And we're going to pick up two glow-in-the-dark and just let those fall on both sides. This glow-in-the-dark will go through both strings. One on each side. One that goes through both. Now this one we have one glow in the dark on one side and black on the other. Glow in the dark that goes through both. Okay, now we're just going to pull all these beads down. That's what it looks like. Go ahead and make a knot. And you're going to put your needle on. Okay, we're going to take our needle and we're going to go through all three of these beads. And we're working on the side that has the black. We're going to add a glow in the dark. We're going to add another glow in the dark. And you're going to flip this over. We're going to add a glow in the dark. Another glow in the dark. Another glow in the dark, but this time we're going to have to go down this bead and this bead over here. Okay, so we're going down both of these. And now we're going up two, up these two, oops, and down the speed here. So we just made a path to come out, to have our string coming out of the speed. Okay, you're going to flip this over. We're going to add a black. And another black. Flip it around. 
we're going to add glow in the dark for this whole row. There's one, two, and for this last one, we're going to have to make a path. So we're going to go down these two here. And we're going to have to go up these two and down this one. Flip it over. We're going to add two glow in the dark for this row. And we need to make a path to get over here. So we're going to go down these two. Up the black bead. And then down this one. And our last bead is glow in the dark. And we're going to go through both of these here. And you can make a knot. So you're tying on the outside string here. I'm going to do two knots. Okay, you can cut that off. And you're going to put your needle on the other side. And we're going to go through these three beads. Okay, my bad, guys. Go ahead and take your string back through these two. We just need to go through this one here. So you want your string to be coming out of this bead. And we're going to add glow in the dark for this whole row. Flip it over. Okay, for this bead, we need to make a path. So we're going to go down these two here. We're going to go up these two and then down this one. Okay, flip it over. Okay, we need to make a path to get to this bead, so we're going to go down these two here. So we went down those two, we're going to go up this one and then down this bead. Okay, 
I'm going to flip that over. Okay, we need to make a path, so we're going to go down these two here. We're going to go up these two and down this one. Oh, and if you run out of string, you can always tie some on. So I have a little bit left from this side. I'll probably tie on here because it looks like it's getting short. Okay, we need to make a path, so we're going to go down these two. Up these two. And down. Okay, flip this over. Okay, so one side is going to be going at an angle. So we need to go down down these two up this bead and then down that one now I'm going to tie this on here And flip it over. Okay, we need to make a path to get to this bead. So we're going to go down these two. Up this one and then down this one. Flip it over. Okay, so we just took our string up through here, I'm trying to decide if I want to add, yeah. Go ahead and add another bead right here, and then we're going to go through here, 
and then back around. So we're doing a circle to get back to that bead. And then you can tie this here. Okay, there we go. Now you can add this to a bracelet or a necklace. You can make earrings with it. You could do whatever you want. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you next time.